Hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you some important settings you should check. No matter what phone you have or what version of Android you have, these settings are usually enabled everywhere. Unless you've disabled everything yourself, of course, you should still check them because, as it turns out, you're using your camera. This is the main camera you use to take pictures, and the front camera in particular. It's constantly running in the background and can be accessed by remote apps installed on your phone, so other users can see everything, even when your phone is lying down and when you're not even using the camera. So, take a close look at these settings I'm going to show you. Like this video and share it with a friend so they know how to do this too. I'll also show you a few more important settings that drain your battery significantly. And even if they're disabled while I'm working, they can still run in stealth mode. So, what do you need? You need to use our standard settings. And here you can find an option called Application. Here it is. Go here and go to All Apps. Click here, and you'll see the right side with Call Permissions. Go here. There are different features here. Look, you need to look for Auto Start in the background on some phones. This depends on Android. It will simply say, Auto Play. Go here and check out this bonus that I recommend. If you've never gone here before, you can see that all these apps I'm scrolling through now were enabled. T, you see, the checkbox was active. That's it. Here they appear in this top list. What does this mean? The fact that this app can run and run in the background 24 7, that is, from morning until night, without even using it. Of course, this drains your battery a lot. So why force an app to run when you don't even turn it on? I'd recommend going here and turning off almost everything. This will significantly save your battery. As for the camera, look at the top right, there are ellipses. Click here, and there will be this key thing to show system apps. You log in and see that the camera immediately appears. This is actually because it's a system app. It turns out that it works even when it's not turned on. And, most likely, you've noticed that when you shoot even some videos, some for yourself, the battery literally drains before your eyes. This is despite the fact that when the camera is actually working, but in this case, the camera is always on, even though you're not using it. Of course, this is what we turn off. Look at some phones. I advise you to first tap on the camera itself. So, I'm tapping this now because I'm on Android 13. Then first tap on the camera itself, and you'll see two settings there. Disable these two settings that will be there, and then turn it off completely. If you can't tap on the camera itself, then just turn it off. Of course, that won't be enough. I'm going to show you a few more important settings that need to be adjusted, and a bonus, as I promised. When you go to autoplay, check these apps yourself. Where it says they're running, you'll see that they're running. You have them running here too. At least here on the right, all the sliders are disabled. You could disable all of them yourself, and you'd think everything's fine, nothing's running. But in fact, there are some apps that are standalone, and you see that it says they're running. Although, if I minimize them, there's absolutely nothing there. That is, there are no additional apps. They're shown here, something's running in the background, but here they're running in your Opera or Telegram. Sometimes there are a bunch of other apps. That's where you'll need to re-enable these apps. Here, as you can see, I re-enabled them and then disabled them again. I disable Opera, and Telegram was disabled there too. And now these apps will disappear from autoplay. That is, sometimes they do it in a clever way, how they grant themselves access and then completely exit this menu, so it's clear where we're going next. We go to the standard settings, find the search and open the application. Here, click on permission and look for application permissions. Go here and here. Of course, we're interested in the item that controls access to the camera. Here it is, the camera. Let's go here too. I already have everything configured here, 
so I'll just tell you how to do it. If you scroll down, there are a bunch of apps. Of course, these apps are different for everyone, but I'm sure that if you've never been here, then all of these apps that I'm scrolling through will be at the very top of your list. This one is always allowed. Then there are three columns of allowed. Always allowed only when used here. And this one is prohibited. I would advise you to always move all apps that are only in the allowed section so that they are always moved to the prohibited section. And here, leave only those apps that really need the camera. It's all very simple. That's the whole effect. If there are any apps, you click on any of the apps, it launches, and you simply have a choice here. Here you have a choice. It's forbidden to click or ask every time, or only allow while using the app. Click, say, deny. You don't need to click anything. Just go back with the arrow, and you'll see that this app is gone and is already running with completely different permissions. So everything is forbidden. It's in this column. But here, you just double check this column to make sure there are only a few apps that need the camera. So, the camera needs the camera. Of course, you need an open camera. There's also a type responsible for the camera. For example, if you shoot videos and things like that, I would also advise you to get rid of some apps that allow you to customize the entire system without your knowledge. So, what do you need to do again? Go back to default settings. Go back to applications. Click permission here. And we'll go to other permissions. Here on the right, you'll see a grayed out permission. By the way, these are different permissions, not the ones we just looked at. So, take a close look at the completely different settings here. Let's go here. And there's also a small menu here. The first thing we're interested in is the system settings. The number of apps available here will vary across them. In any case, all of these apps, if you've never visited them before, will have green check marks. So, I'm always allowed, say, 8 apps, but someone else might have 20 or 30, it doesn't matter. There are even some increments here. If there were any, you should definitely delete them. This is most likely a virus accessing your data. As for the other apps, if you're a developer, a programmer, of course, who creates games or apps specifically for Android, then, of course, you probably won't be able to work without this setting. For everyone else, I recommend going through all the apps and disabling them so there's no red cross. And these apps that are affecting your internet connection will work just as they always have, without any issues, without any glitches or slowdowns. Everything will work perfectly, everything will run quickly, and you won't even need to tweak any system settings. So feel free to do this. Disable everything and don't worry. Click, block, and that's it. As you can see, I have everything disabled. But I'm also using fiber optics, Skype, and elementary galleries. So, everything works for me. Everything works perfectly. After this, you can restart your smartphone, phone, or tablet to make sure. If you were using a tablet, you'll feel much more at ease and, of course, you'll avoid battery drain caused by various apps running in the background. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.